When I was little, I had a big, big birthday present. It was all wrapped up. When I unwrapped my big, big birthday present, I found a bicycle inside. It was all shiny and pink and purple with a bell and a basket and a seat in the back for Willy. Mummy said, do you want to ride your bike? Are you going for a ride? Not in my pyjamas. Not in my pyjamas, I said. When I got dressed, I pushed my bike outside. Shall I help you ride your bike, said Mummy. No, I said, I just want to push my bike myself. I love my big new bike. Willie likes my new bike too. That night, I wrapped my bicycle up. I wanted to keep it all shiny and new. The next day, Mummy and me went shopping with our bikes. Shall I help you ride your bike? said Mummy. No, I just want to push my bike. It was a long way to the shops, round the fountain, past the playgrounds. I pushed my bike along. Going down the hill, my bike ran away. Boing! <gasps> Tig, you need to use your brakes. Do you want me to show you? No, I said. I just want to push my bike. When we got to the long path, I was puffed. Tig, why don't you sit on your bike and I'll show you how to pedal? It'll be so much easier. No. No, I said. I just want to push my bike. At the shops, Mummy bought lots of things. I bought a flower for Daddy. Come on, Tig. On the way home, we stopped and watched the big children on their bikes. They look like they're having fun. They're having fun, said Mummy. I pushed my bike some more and then I stopped. I didn't want to push my bike. Tig, let me help you on your bike. No, I said. I didn't know what to do. Hey, Tig. Pushing a bike is OK, but riding a bike looks much more fun, doesn't it? Pedal, 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 wee! But doing something new for the first time can be scary. Wee! <laughs> Ta-da! Not quite as scary as that, but still scary. All you need is a little help to get you going. Pedal, 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 wee! Hey, Tig, sometimes you just need to ask for someone to help. So, why don't you ask your mum to help you ride your bike? You might find it a lot easier than you thought. Pedal, 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 wee! Go for it, Tig. You'll still have your new bike, but now you'll be riding it. Yes, I thought. I'll ask Mummy to help me ride my bike. Now, if you can sit on your bike, and if you put your feet on the... Pedals, she showed me the bell, the pedals, the brakes, and how to go round and round. Riding my bike was easier than I thought. So Mummy and me rode all the way home. When Mummy saw Willie, she nearly fell off her bike. What's that in the back of your bike? He's only my toy spider, I said. I love riding my bike. And I love Willie. We've been scared since we were here. Happy birthday, Timmy. <gasps> Don't forget Willie. Willie came too. The party was for Timmy's birthday. My friend Angel was there too. And there were lots of children. The party was in a big room. There was a funny man called Josh. Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name's Josh and I... Josh had a flower that squirted water. We're going to do the hokey-cokey. Josh showed us how to do the hokey-cokey. 
We all joined in. You do the hokey pokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Pin the tail on the donkey. Pin the tail on the donkey. And Mummy tied the scarf so we couldn't see. I pinned the tail on the donkey's nose. Everybody laughed. It was funny. A big boy was clever. He pinned the tail just where it should be. Well done! Josh had a hooty horn. OK, musical chairs. Let's go. Go! We played musical chairs. On you go. Oh, oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, 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 hard luck. Touchy, touchy. Hey, we've got a winner. Well done. A big boy won. Time for juggling. Josh juggled. Sweetie packets. Oh. I like Josh. When he draw one, he gave the packet to me. <laughs> Daddy made a big parcel for pass the parcel. When the music stops, you open the parcel up. When the music stopped, the parcel stopped and was unwrapped. The parcel never stopped at me. I never won any presents. Oh, Sophie! I didn't like the party. I didn't like never winning. Right, everybody, time for birthday cake. Come on. I didn't go for tea. Come on, Tig. You're going to miss the birthday tea. Come on. Hey Tig, look at this. Where will the button go? Where's the button gone? There! Yeah! Well done, Tig. Winning feels good. That's why it's fun to win. But Tig, in party games there's often only one winner. So that means you lose more times than you win. Not everyone can win all the time. It's fun that others win too, and fun just playing the game. Angel hasn't won, but she's having fun. Josh hasn't won, but he's having fun. You haven't won, but you had fun pinning the towel on the donkey's nose. Hey Tig, parties are full of surprises. Join in and find the next fun surprise. I wanted more surprises. And ran for tea. I helped Timmy blow out his candles. I saw Josh Willie. It's only a toy spider. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like parties. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. It's my birthday. Daddy looked funny. We had a surprise. Mummy took us to our restaurant. Willie came too. Inside the restaurant, there were lots and lots of tables. Mummy told Daddy to take his hat off. A grumpy man came along and told us to sit down. Menu for you. Mummy said the grumpy man was a waiter. Daddy was excited and did funny things. Take it. <laughs> stop it, just stop it, sit up and behave. Mummy told him to behave and sit up straight. So, ready to order? I wanted fish fingers. Fish fingers. <laughs> there were no fish fingers. Yes. I think I might have the spaghetti. Daddy said I might like spaghetti. For you too? OK, thank you. Thank you. There 
I saw a little boy. The little boy disappeared. I looked under the tables and saw the little boy crawling towards me. Crash! The grumpy waiter tripped. You shouldn't crawl around in restaurants, said Mummy. Mummy gave me a colouring book to colour in. The grumpy waiter landed our spaghetti plates on the table like aeroplanes. Then he sprinkled pepper with a giant pepper pot. Let's get stuck in. I looked at the spaghetti. It was all long and wriggly with green and black bits. Mum said just to try a little bit. I ate a black bit. Yuck! Do you not like olives? You ate an olive, said Daddy. I love olives. Daddy took away all the olives. Take this one. Oh, I got it. Try another bit, said Mummy. I wanted fish fingers. Hey, Tig. Not liking things is okay. So now you know what you don't like. Yuck. Find out what you do like. Mmm. I like spaghetti because it's fun and wriggly and yum in my tum. <laughs> hey, Tig, your dad's got rid of the yucky taste, so have another go. Or I'll eat it all up for you. Mmm. Go for it, Tig. Tuck in. So I thought, I'll have another go. Oh, look at that big bit. <laughs> That's brilliant. What a good girl. Oh, well, you're loving it, aren't you? When I finished, the grumpy waiter took my plate away. That's <laughs> on your toy spider. Then the waiter came back. <laughs> with Daddy's birthday pudding. Look at that. This is the best birthday cake I've ever had. I really like it. I like new food. You like that? So does Willie. Yeah, he likes it. Mm, he loved it. <laughs> I love Willie. Wiz, the home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s and all your favourite kids TV characters. Now let's find kids TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz. That's how easy it is.